synopsis in your ear. Good morning. I'm Trish Pahanek for Synopsis. Kicking off the week, it's Monday, April 24th, 2006, and this is your first early morning briefing. Here is today's top story. Well, Fox and Toyota will team up to produce Prison Break Proof of Innocence, seen exclusively on mobile phones. The series is a spinoff of Fox's Prison Break. Each mobile show will be just 10 minutes long, and each will begin with a 10-second spot from Toyota. According to the Wall Street Journal, News Corp and Toyota are expected to make the announcement today. The deal also calls for Toyota ads to appear exclusively in several episodes next month as the show nears its finale on May 15th. The Mobisodes feature different actors and writers in the TV version and will introduce new characters. It will first be available this week to Sprint customers who have signed up for the Sprint video package. Now after two weeks, the Mobisodes will be also available at toyota.com. Well, maybe I haven't said this before, but if you had a promo or a commercial in this daily podcast, it would go right about here. Coming up under more good stuff, OLN will get a new name, ready for Paula Abdul five times a week, a new broadband channel for scripts, and a casting call you may be just right for. And while I'm telling you about all this great stuff today, take a look at these beautiful shots provided to us from National Geographic's Digital Motion Library. After much internal debate and a hat full of potentials, OLN has finally settled on a new network name, which it plans to roll out in September. The new name for the Comcast-owned network will be Versus. The name is to describe the network's push in outdoor sports and competition in general. Currently, in approximately 60 million homes, OLN carries the Tour de France, NHL hockey, and has recently picked up the rights for arena football. Other sports carried on the network include tennis, yachting, off-road racing, and professional bull riding. CBS Paramount Domestic Television is banking on your wanting to see Paula Abdul on television more than two or three times a week, but an additional five times a week. Rumors are swirling about that Abdul may be doing a syndicated series for Paramount for the 2007-2008 season, a spin-off of her current stint as a special correspondent for Entertainment Tonight. Scripps Network will launch a next broadband channel, HGTV Bath Design, on May 1st. The channel will contain about 200 streaming videos on the latest bath design trends, tips, and innovations. The new channel can be accessed at www.hgtvbathdesign.com. TLC has ordered up a second season of Little People Big World, calling for 14 more episodes. The second season will debut later on this year. A correction to tell you about today's season finale of The Apprentice on NBC is not on May 22nd, as I told you last week, but it's actually scheduled in the post-May sweep month of June, airing on June 5th to be exact from 9 to 11. Also, NBC's Conviction 2-hour finale is scheduled for May 19th from 9 to 11 p.m. A casting call to tell you about production company Embassy Row is looking for a host, it can be male or female, for a new daily news show. It will hold an open casting call in New York City this Wednesday. If you're between 21 and 34 years old, you're internet savvy and can read a teleprompter, perhaps this is the gig for you. Casting call will be held on Wednesday the 26th between 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. at 435 West 19th Street, second floor between 9th and 10th Avenue in New York City. Good luck. Moving along to the rating summary for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night, according to Live Plus Same Day ratings from Nielsen Media Research. CBS took first place on Thursday with a 5.315, adult 18-49. At 8 o'clock, CBS started their lead with Survivor Panama at a 5.417. A repeat of CSI at 9 o'clock on CBS almost came in with the same ratings as the previous hour, delivering a 5.415. CBS maintained its evening of fives and took home a 5.014 for Without a Trace at 10 o'clock. On Friday night, ABC took the lead, though just barely, with a 2.58 adult 1849. At 8 o'clock, NBC, with a deal or no deal repeat, did the best with a 2.49. ABC, with the first hour of the special edition of Primetime at 9 o'clock, came out on top with a 2.48. And at 10 o'clock, the second hour of Primetime on ABC secured their winning position, delivering a 3.19. Fox raced to the finish line on Saturday night with a 2.59 Adele 18-49 from 8 to 11. Fox started off the 8 o'clock hour with the NASCAR race in the lead with a 2.08. Fox's surge continued at 9 o'clock with NASCAR into 2.69. In the same story at 10 o'clock, Fox also took this hour with the Nextel Cup NASCAR race at a 3.09. Today's trivia question, what company made the tagline, We Live Where You Live, well-known among TV commercials? 
And that's going to do it for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis, what's new executive moves, some more on ratings, loads of new classified ads, a few of the stories that didn't make it in today's podcast, and of course, tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote Compiled Synopsis, I'm Trish Pahanik with the podcast version of Synopsis in Your Ear. <laughs>